digital marketing versus traditional forms of marketing. Is one really better than the other? Well, now in 2021, I would definitely say yes. Digital marketing by far is the most cost-effective way of marketing your business. Really marketing any size business, small to large companies. It used to be that traditional forms of marketing were very, for the most part, time consuming and rather cost prohibitive, especially for small businesses. It cost a lot of money to do print advertising, like in newspapers or buying an ad in the phone book to promote your business. and. Those traditional forms of marketing, not only were they time consuming, but it was also a really big gamble, not knowing how much business you would actually gain from whatever marketing campaign you were running. It was really hard to track from the effort you put into it, what you got in return. However, when it comes to digital marketing, especially now in 2021, we can pinpoint and target our market. Who specifically do we want to see our marketing campaigns? Whether we are marketing our website, promoting our website by means of social media marketing and our social platforms, or potentially email marketing. All of that is part of digital marketing. Creating content on all of these different platforms and then specifically targeting our market and who we want to see that content is actually possible with digital marketing. With traditional forms of marketing like print advertising, you just can't do that. It doesn't work. If you discover that there is one word wrong in something that you are creating for your content, when it comes to digital marketing, you can immediately fix it and it doesn't skip a beat. If you're doing traditional forms of marketing, it's really time consuming and it's really cost prohibitive because if you do find a typo like that and it's really late in the game, potentially there are things that you end up having to do with reprinting pieces of content. If you were doing postcard mailings, etc. That kind of thing really made it expensive. But with digital marketing and promoting your business online, you don't have to do any of that. So being able to cost effectively pinpoint and target your market is one of the biggest and best attributes of utilizing digital marketing for your small business. Now, if you happen to be a really small business, and when I say small, I mean you're like a one-person show, cost of promoting your business and marketing your services and products is a big deal. You never want to spend money that you don't have to, number one, but two, oftentimes small businesses you just don't have the money to compete with larger competitors. So for small businesses and savvy entrepreneurs, that's kind of the key word for us, savvy. We have to get really fine tuned and knowledgeable about how we can craft our content for our content marketing campaigns utilizing all of our social media platforms, our websites, our blogs, and any video content that we are creating. If we can do that, we can still compete and create really successful, viable businesses. 
especially for small businesses, when it comes to digital marketing, I would say for most of us, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and your Google My Business local listing are probably your top spots for putting the majority of your marketing efforts. If you can fine tune those pieces of content and marketing strategies on those platforms, once you get all of that dialed in, that's a good time to consider expanding out to other platforms. But for most small businesses, and especially if you're trying to target your immediate local demographic, those platforms are really probably your best bet to promote and market your small business. Now, if you are new to my channel and this is possibly the first time you've stumbled across one of my videos, if you like content like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when I do upload new content for you, definitely hit that bell icon down below. I upload new content every week helping small entrepreneurs level up and create really successful businesses. And doing that by means of marketing, social media marketing, and helping you with all the ins and outs of creating a really strong web presence for your small business. Now, if you are trying to calculate and figure out how best to create a strong digital marketing campaign, you might want to check out this next video. I've got several others on my channel here, including this one, that can really help get you started. So until I see you over there, be well everybody, and definitely focus your marketing strategy around your digital marketing. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.